the intentions of the Saudi and the UAE are, I think, uh, a, a moving goal, right? Like they started with uh, stated uh, reasons for why they started the war, which was the invitation of President uh, uh, Abdul Abu Mansur Hadi at the time. And then it just kept on evolving into different targets, right? And this shows that there was no real uh, clear intentions of one, how to get into this war, right? Which they did quite surprisingly, but also how to get out of the war, which is where we are now seven years later, where there is a, a, a ceasefire, but nothing has changed since the beginning of this conflict, right? So that brings into the question, what, did, what were they hoping to achieve by uh, waging war on Yemen? Uh, it, the role of the United States in the war on Yemen is a huge one. Um, and underreported because not only are they uh, arming every single party in this conflict, right? But they're also giving diplomatic and political immunity to the Saudis and the UAE in waging this war on Yemen, right? With that as well, the, the United States itself has been waging war on Yemen in the name of counterterrorism, even before the Saudis and the, uh, and the uh, UAE waged the war, right? So there are levels of involvement in, in, in Yemen that are actually quite direct, right? They want to claim that they're the ones who are trying to stop the Saudis and the UAE from, from continuing this uh, uh, massive cat catastrophe of a war. But in reality, they've been involved in a direct war in Yemen for much, much longer than them. The renewal of the ceasefire is excellent news, honestly. I mean, it's a win-win for everybody involved because there is now tangible improvement in the daily life of civilians, right? And we're not talking the political parties or the militias on the ground. We're talking the improvement in the daily life of people who are now able to go to an airport and travel from the northern part of Yemen, which hasn't happened since 2016. This is a massive improvement. Like, nobody can say that this is a waste of time, right? Hopefully, this will build a, some sort of momentum to start improving a lot of the other things uh, that are needed uh, in Yemen. For example, the economy uh, is a disaster, uh, health is a disaster, like everything because of this war has disintegrated in Yemen. Uh, and so uh, it, uh, hopefully this will be uh, an indicator to the Saudis that it's no longer worth it to continue war that they have, I would argue, lost to the Houthis because the Houthis now are more powerful and closer to the Iranians than the beginning of this conflict, which was one of the stated goals of, uh, of the Saudis in starting this war, right? I think the, the only way out of the conflict in Yemen today is for the Saudis to truly believe that there is no other way, right? Diplomacy is the only way. We are seven uh, years out and nothing has really changed for the Saudis uh, on the ground, right? I would argue that it's a lot, lot worse. All the money and all the people that uh, have been killed, all of this shows that it was futile, right? And the Americans also have to put that pressure on the Saudis and the UAE to make them also believe and see that there is a price. But sadly, I don't, I'm not very optimistic about even if there is an official uh, end to the war, uh, there, they've started a lot of balls rolling inside Yemen that will take a long time to fix. The militias that don't belong to any of the hierarchical uh, structures inside Yemen, what is left of them, the tribes have been massively weakened. Uh, there's ISIS now in Yemen, which wasn't there before the war started. Al-Qaeda is still alive and well. And so I, I wonder uh, what are the ramifications really now and, uh, and, and how the Yemenis will deal with it, right? Because the Saudis and the UAE can just withdraw and wash their hands out of the situation. It was like, oh, we're, we're, we've, we've stopped, right? But then the really, truly dangerous phase on the ground in Yemen, I think, will be to come. Uh, you, you caught me in a pessimistic mood today. But uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not very optimistic in the short term, in the short, medium term. Maybe in the long term, it will, uh, there, there, will, there will be a birth of new leadership because everybody in Yemen has seen what a disaster the leaders are, I think. I'm projecting on them, but <laughs> maybe this will uh, will give a birth to a new leadership that is more functional than the ones that, that have been in power so far.